You know, too much TV can be detrimental to your health. Yeah, you think so? Didn't do him much good. <laughs> So, uh, what's up, Doc? This is Madigan. Give me Sergeant Parks. We've got another one. Well, Arthur told Madigan there's a break in the security concept. Tonight? That's what the man told Madigan, and he hasn't been wrong yet. We're rolling back up. Roger. <laughs> Let's see what the boss is doing. Doesn't he look good? Yeah. Huh? Yeah. Yeah. Toy department. <laughs> Okay, round these jokers up. Nice work. Get them all? Not quite. It's a junk shop. Right there, Morgan. Hey, Tim. Think you're unstoppable? Stop this. Took a grenade, it was Pudface Morgan. 
Mer, isn't this place... Yes. My replacement parts are resupplied from here. What did Morgan have in mind? Fighting you with your own weapons? <laughs> well, if he did, he's dumber than I thought. Murphy's not unstoppable because he's well-armed. It's because he's Murphy. Come on. Line, then let's quit. Okay, everybody clear. Officer Alex Murphy shot to death in the line of duty. Legally, he's dead. We can pretty much do what we want. There's a new guy in town. His name's Robocop. Murphy, it is you. three minutes and we'll give you the world. This is Media Break with Bo Harlan and Rocky Crenshaw. And our top story, the president is coming to Delta City to present the Corporation of the Year Award to Omni Consumer Products. I'm proud to accept this award on behalf of everyone at OCP. And I know we're going to give the president a great Delta City welcome. In other news, Rocky, the president's national Get Tough on Crime campaign got a boost from Detroit's Metro South Precinct. A string of crime-busting triumphs was topped last night by the roundup of the Pud Face Morgan gang. Although Morgan himself eluded capture, it was nice going anyway, Metro South. So, you failed to nab Pud Face. He was a step ahead of us. I told you when told you where the crime would be committed. I mean, what more can I do? I am not, after all, <laughs> God. You did, I trust, uh, inform Morgan Pratt of my public service, didn't you? Because every thwarted crime you see, it earns me parole points. And... <laughs> Dream on, Millardo. You're in maximum security. Do you know how many points it would take for you to earn parole? A billion. Let it be a billion, billion, because I have the power. As you, of all people, should be well aware. If I just might, if I just might say something personal here, I think that your cynicism is is a really unattractive trait. It's something you could probably work on. Well, I guess cynicism goes with the territory, especially since I'm dealing with a source who plucks his information from the psychic energy stream. Oh, my poor child. My poor, poor child. How little you come. You live in an interactive world, teeming with messages that your poor blinkered brain cannot decode, and so, to you, they don't exist. And yet, to the receptive mind, they're everywhere. 
And thanks to my innate intellect, my regimen of physical exercise, meditation, and vegetarianism, my mind has become, oh, wow, how can I describe it? A collector lane on the information superhighway. An off-ramp is more like it. No, I, <clears throat> I have but to sample the flavor of the news of the day. I mean, to pitch my antenna into the energy stream, as you so crudely put it, and, and, and then a pattern emerges. And then it becomes clear what is, what will be. I see it. And it's, it's, well, you have the results yourself, don't you? I warned you seven times of criminal enterprises and seven times. You have been right on the money. So there's really, there's really no reason to doubt my word, is there? When I tune my brain into the doubt crime network, word. I always, always find a plot. Well? His degree of truth is between 70 and 75%. You mean he actually believes this stuff? Not entirely. He is manipulating his stress levels. But why? What is he doing? Dr. Marlardo is an evil man and a genius. He is capable of anything. Yes, yes, so, Mr. McGrew, you will have our full cooperation. It's an honor to work with the Secret Service protecting our president, and indeed, our way of life as we know it. Anything you may need by way of facilities, manpower. Thank you, gentlemen. But my people can handle it. Since the president launched the Get Tough on Crime campaign, every day has become a challenge for us. And you've met that challenge magnificently. Where local law enforcement can help out is in crowd control, protesters. In great, you mean. I don't know if they go back where they came from. Actually, most of them will come from old Detroit. Ah, Robo. This is Bob L. McGrew, Secret Service. Good to meet you. My pleasure, sir. Heard a lot about you. I'd like to have you on our team, but of course, uh, that just caused a lot of trouble. The anti-robotics lobby would have a field day. But Robocop could be invaluable. Machines cost a lot of people their jobs in this country, Mr. Chairman. People with votes. Makes sense to me. No offense. None taken. giving your son. That's a male child. He needs meat. But, but, but meat is so expensive. Look, a man is at the top of the food chain. That means we eat everything below us, and that's meat. Now that's how a real man eats. Ooh, I love a man who eats meat. what I tell you? Don't veg out, America. Meat's good for you and good for the economy, so eat up. And remember what Commander Cash says, meat means business. Hi, Jeb. Where are you? It looks lovely. Oh, yeah, doesn't it? Uh, it's what Pudface laughingly calls headquarters. I think it used to be a warehouse for school books. <laughs> Talk about ironic. The guy's practically illiterate. Ah, but he does serve our purpose so well. He's reckless, fearless, and really quite exceptionally careless. He'll do the job, take the blame, and be out of the picture before he knows we've hit him. <laughs> what more could one ask of a colleague? <laughs> You're right. It's so deliciously ruthless. Yes, the uh, president's visit has everyone Excited from the richest rich people in Delta City to the poorest poor people here in the filthy, disgusting, slimy slums of old Detroit, where I happen to be standing. So, for now, this is Chip Chaikin, Smith, signing off. Um... I mean, it is amazing what gets on TV these days, isn't it? You can feel the energy in the air. Yes, the president's visit has everyone excited from the boulevards of Delta City to the mean streets of old Detroit. And here at the OCP Hotel and Convention Center, where the award presentation will take place, Secret Service people are everywhere.
everywhere doing whatever it is they do. And wherever the president travels, it's a big deal in terms of logistics and, and all that stuff. But things are especially... I hear the Secret right Service now. guy Bob Al McGrew thinks you're a political risk. Unfortunately, I am not a registered voter. And as the experts tell us, there is... But if called upon, I will be ready. Well, just be careful. So that explosion Pudface Morgan point. touched off eliminated your ordinance reserve. All that survived were these TAC weapons. And thank God they didn't go off. If they had... It would have been trouble. Secretive. But we have with us today Mr. Edward Foster, VP OCP Security Concepts. Mr. Foster, what's your task? As usual, I'll be consulting in all major security decisions. And what role will Robocop be playing? Well, the President's head of security and I agree on that. Robocop will be used where his skills can be most maximized. Meaning? Crowd control. What? Crowd control! Oh, my God, are you mad? No! So there you have it, straight from the horse's mouth. I'm Martina Marks, sending you back to studio. I'll get it. There you are. I just got a message from Millardo via Warden Pratt. Quote, there will be trouble today at the convention center. Peace and love. That is McGrew's turf. Hey, Millardo's batting a thousand right now, so whatever he's up to, we can't just sit on it. You're right. This is no time for nitpicking. I'll ride with you. The chairman's quite, quite candid about it. Edward, he said? That's me. Edward, you've worked miracles in security concepts. He's a brutally honest man. The fact is, the chairman and I are a team. Unofficially, I'm being groomed to succeed him. Excuse me, Mr. Foster, we're with Channel 3. I wonder if we could trouble you for an interview. It's for primetime news. They never stop. Step this way, please. Agent McGrew, I'd like to talk to you. We just got some information. Yeah, you got the hotel and the flags in the background. It's a very strong image. The light's real flattering. Yeah, yeah, it's, it's very nice. <sighs> Wait a minute, isn't that... Just step into the van, Mr. Foster. Oh, my God. Help. And just how reliable is this so-called source? Look. What the hell? It's Foster. They got Foster. Why oh, not? Got him. Now let's go get him. Yep, they're in there, all right. At least the van is. What I can't figure out is why anyone would want to kidnap Foster. Well, he's been shooting his mouth off on TV. Some of them must think he knows something. About the president's arrival. Yeah, whatever. Let's get in there, shall we? Please remain here.
There it is. Could be a trap. There's one man inside. How'd he know that? Thermograph imaging. You mean he can now? Uh huh. There is a bomb. Uh -huh. Let's get him out of here. There is no time. It was a simple mechanism. Somebody help me, please. I fought them. God knows. But there were just too many for me. It's all right, Foster. It's over now. Thank you, sir. Now, you're sure one of them was Pudface Morgan? I could hardly be mistaken about that. They want to know about uh, security at the convention center. Yes. They're plotting something horrible. I don't like this one bit. I had a disturbing report today. Someone is investing heavily in speculative options that our stock is going to plummet. Why would they be doing that unless they knew something was about to happen? Just imagine if, God forbid, the president should be attacked at the award luncheon. Not only would it be a national tragedy, OCP would be at fault. It's too awful to contemplate. First Morgan tries to bag a load of high-tech weapons, now this. Would he really try to go after the president? Well, I know he's got the ego for it. I just don't think it's his style. There may be someone behind him. Tell me more about this uh, source of yours. Oh. Welcome to my humble home, Agent McGrew. You've been expecting me? Well, naturally, Bob. I mean, after all, we have a lot to talk about. Will you hurry it up? I just want to get this right. We're not just making history here. We're making a statement. What do you mean, we, hotshot? I'm the patsy. I'm the one who's gonna be taking all the heat. I would be rather more inclined to call it glory. After all, you are going to be a hero to every red-blooded criminal in this country. Anyway, you know how Dr. Mallardo laid it out. I can't be playing the market for us if I'm implicated in the plot. <laughs> now, can I? Good point. <laughs> hey, balloon brain, I'll tell you what's a good point. The truth is, when the big moment hits, none of us is going to be implicated. Every one of us is going to be rich. Now smile. Well, I'm glad you remembered to use the TAC weapons. They were appropriate. Oh, different serial numbers again. Mr. Foster must have come up with another new supplier. For new, read cheap. Oh, yeah. <laughs> well, while we're here, let's recheck your Rambolt mechanism. It is important to stay in shape. <laughs> so, Murphy, this data you put together on Millardo really makes a lot of sense. If you follow the links far enough, every one of the eight crimes that he has managed to predict was perpetrated by someone connected to Putface Morgan. Or Chip Chicken. Ah, where's he at these days? He walked away from a work release program four months ago. Uh-huh. Remember what the chairman said about someone speculating on OCP stock? Chicken's specialty. Check it out. And with the president due to arrive tomorrow morning, Media Break has received this photograph, identified as the fugitive killer William Ray Pudface Morgan. Accompanying the photo was the following message. You can't stop the unstoppable. 
It's being interpreted as a direct threat to the president. The excitement is mounting as we await the arrival of the presidential motorcade. This is a, an historic day for Delta City. Everybody, oh, excuse me. Oh, <laughs> I guess that means they've arrived. Uh, the president will be arriving in a basic black limo. They're coming into the driveway now. Just moments away is the president. Welcome to Delta City, Madam President. Thank you, Mr. Chairman. My husband. How are you doing? I'd like you to meet Mr. Foster, our VP of Security Concepts. The evil has landed. Hey, hey. Ha ha ha. Darling. Yeah? Ah. Oh, great. Great. Well, Bob, let's get started. Peace and love. I don't believe it. You let him out? It was my idea. I beg your pardon, ma'am, but I don't think you can be aware of how dangerous this man is. I'm under no illusions, Detective, I can assure you. But I have heard that this man has the talent to access the immediate future. There is some evidence that the crimes he predicts are interconnected. Possibly to himself, ma'am. And I've heard that you have the ability to measure the level of a person's truth within their responses. Now, <laughs> as a politician, that scares the hell out of me. But as the potential victim of an assassination plot, well, why don't we hear what Dr. Millardo has to say? You are the president, ma'am. Yes, I am. Why don't you tell the president what you told me? May I just say what a lovely room this is? Millardo. <clears throat> yes, well, you see, I... I've been having these thoughts now for a couple of months, ever since I launched my personal brain probe into the electromedia facts, sphere. I've Milardo. been seeing... Just the facts. Yes, fine, fine, fine. There will be an attempt made at this afternoon's ceremony to destroy the president and the chairman of OCP by means Oops. of a remote control bomb. The bomber will be the deranged and the very ugly fugitive Pudface Morgan. The act will take place at the moment the presentation is made. And I really have no more information at this time, but I will promise you that I will keep my mind open. Now, was there a mention of a, of a presidential pardon? It seems, was I wrong? Did, did someone say that? Well. His degree of truth was 100%. I've made a security adjustment. The grand ballroom is out. The luncheon will take place down here in the uh, corporate ballroom. Look, uh, my people can do a routine bomb scan, but they can't do what you do. I want you to go over every inch of this place. Let us hope the anti-robotics lobby does not find out. <laughs> yeah, well, uh, to hell with them. We got one hour. Nature's little miracle. Excellent for the diet and for the eyes. 
Have you ever seen a rabbit with glasses? <laughs> oh, I, I mean, take me, for example. I've always had good eyes, and it's because of carrots. I firmly believe in carrots, and I can see for miles and miles. All set. We don't need Milardo to tell us. Yeah, look, uh, there it is. The bomb's online and ready to go. You mean RoboCop's online and ready to go. <laughs> Same thing, right? Yeah, that's the beauty of it, Shorty. The bomb detector is the bomb. <laughs> <laughs> Anything turn up? No. Well, maybe Milardo finally blew the call. No. What he said must be exactly true. He is behind all of this. I agree, but what's his plan? He is out of Henry Ford. He'll try to escape. Yeah, well, don't worry. I'm gonna keep an eye on him. Good. Thing is, how can there be a bomb if we've changed locations? Pudface couldn't get a firecracker into this place. There must be something we have not considered. We're opening up. Let's be alert. And of course, the question on everyone's lips is, what will the president be wearing? We'll have her speech live from the convention center. Gosh, I can hardly wait. <laughs> <laughs> Neither can we, huh, boys? You might say that. <laughs> well, then, I think I will leave this in your capable hands. Don't forget the moment the award is presented. Where's she going, Bob? Dr. Malardo needs my help. Yeah, you take good care of him. Oh, I will. As soon as we collect all the dough, we'll take good care of both of them. Okay. <laughs> Are you, are you sure I can't tempt you? I mean, they are fresh and cool and crisp and, ah, God, they're good. Well, let me play more where that came from. <laughs> Check something. Hello, room service, please. Sedative in the carrot routine. <laughs> 
he bit. <laughs> is elegant but understated in a classic vermilion blazer and skirt with matching shell, accessorized with a tasteful alabaster bag, beige pumps, discreet gold chain setting off her lovely complexion. You don't say who did her hair. Beta 2, Milardo's escape, cover the north stairwell. Shaken, I presume. You got him, excellent. What about the president? My job is here. Okay, Milardo, where's Pudface? You said he was gonna detonate the bomb, you know all about it. Now talk, both of you! Um, um, Pudface who? No, you see, I don't actually know the criminals whose crimes right. I predict. I thought that was understood. Listen to me, you little creep. If we don't find him, like, really soon, someone's gonna get hurt really bad. Detective Madigan. We must never threaten felons to obtain information. What? They have rights. It's true, it's true. We are people too. <laughs> Therefore, we will wait and see what happens at the award luncheon. Then we will know more. Um, uh, I, 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 see, why would I, you want to no, waste no, so much no, time just, standing here see, with us? The detective could stay here and watch us, and you could circulate. No. No? No. No? No. We will all remain here until I learn the whereabouts of Pudface Morgan. Washington appreciate everything that you have done here at OCP. A corporation that cares. <laughs> I think I'm gonna throw up. Okay, boys. Let's get ready to blow this thing. Hey, boss, something's wrong. What? The bomb! It's leaving the building! Duck, putt face! There he is! That's it! The red van! Right, right there! There he is! He's Over there. there! Could we hurry this up, please? Officers, arrest these two. Yes, Never seen two guys happier to be arrested. What's going on? They know where the bomb is. What do you mean? It's here somewhere? Right next to you. I am the bomb. The TAC weapons? Oh, the new serial numbers. Pudface planted them. That's why they survived the grenade blast. How did you know that? One just knows these things. Let's get Pudface. It's coming this way. What do you think it means? It means showdown. Murphy, you sure about this? Yes. OK, partner. Your call. Finish the job. Boss, all you got to do is press the button on that remote thing and kapow! You wouldn't understand. This one's between the robot and me. Now get out of here. <laughs> They're both gonna get blown to bits. <laughs> That's something anyway. <laughs>
Bye. Bye. I'll be back, you toolbox! What can I say? Unbelievable. Thank you, Madigan. What exactly happened? Well, Robo deactivated the bomb in his leg, but left the transmitter intact so Pudface wouldn't know it. I guess the bomb in the van was a surprise package from his pals. What do you expect? You can't win them all. Robocop, you're all they said you were. And more. Madam President, you shouldn't be out here. You're much too exposed. Nonsense, Bob. I wouldn't have missed this for the world. Uh, me neither. Sir, I believe you saved my life. And mine. Tell me, what could we do to lure you to Washington? We could certainly use you on Capitol Hill. I am sorry, ma'am. That would not be possible. I was born here. And as long as I am needed, I will stay, to protect and to serve. For at every moment of every day, somewhere there's a crime happening. But thank you. No. Thank you, Robocop. 